here's a quick example of what happens if you just call them out straight away, right? So this is gonna be short. So I commented on a, a Robbie Williams post and within 10 seconds, Robbie Peter Williams messages me. Hello, he says. I said, why are you pretending to be Robbie? This account has had three different names. Well, thank you for your reply. I ask member of my team to create this private account so that I can have a chat with my fan one on one and get to know each <laughs> and know how they feel about my work and also carry them along in my career. This is my personal account. Hope you understand. Question mark. I said again, why are you pretending to be Robbie? Your English does not stand up to scrutiny. And this is a copy paste intro that's been used so much. I open this page to get to know my fan and appreciate them. The other account you follow is my business account that is managed by my, the management company I'm signed to. I said, we've seen it a million times now. Aren't you guys more creative than that? We'd cross post it. And I was still talking about the intro. What do you mean? He said around the intro. I said, again, you're not answering. And this exact intro is used by every fake I've ever seen on here. You all use it over and over and over again. The, uh, the business account is for business and booking, he says. I said, really? Robbie posts from the toilet on there. If this is him, why is the account so new? You might as well tell me because you've been reported already. How dare you insult me? If you have trust issues, don't message me anymore. I said, oh, baby is upset, and you messaged me. And he saw it, and I doubt he'll be back, but he's toddled off to, I don't know, have a sulk or whatever, and I've reported this account about 40 times. So, bye.